Hello everyone. Today uh, we will discuss about a completely new topic uh, regarding regulatory information management system. And as you know, uh, Viva World mostly used in life science and pharmaceutical domain. And I want to uh, let's say discuss about how RIM is work as uh, we have always content and in YouTube. So I want to share with you uh, how regulatory information management system will work in Viva World. So my plan is uh, I will complete the whole RIM process and as uh, I have started from today and in day one topic I have selected a certain and very minimal uh, you know concept uh, one is a overview of RIM and second is a key object which uh, play a major role in RIM. So with that note, I'm starting today's session regarding Viva Volt RIMS, Regulatory Information Management System. So as I said, at day one, we'll mostly check the overview of RIM and the data model and the key share object in data model. So Volt RIM platform is a cloud-based platform which manage product and registration information and it handle submission document and published dossier which is offer a seamless experience uh, regulatory information management. Volt RIM application has several major object. One is registration, another is submission, another is submission archive and submission publishing and application. So in registration, we will complete end-to-end -end application, plan, track, report, product and registration information and manage health authority interaction generate IDMP message. So what is IDMP message is identification of medicinal products structure data message which is exchange between health authority and pharmaceutical company. Submission. So in the submission it's manage our regulatory submission content and which include uh, study report, non-clinical study report, manufacturing info, correspondence document, provide a binder template for structure submission like that. And also in submission archive we will see the imported submission which already archived and structural format we can see under submission archive and it is accessible by regulatory affairs users globally and it shows a content uses across application and submission uh, next one is submission publishing and submission publishing uh, it content planning let you can say and which is published automatically and some validation job running in the back end and the content plan will publish and in at in submission publishing uh, section it is telling that prepare content for health authority submission because a submission has a content plan and then content plan need to be published so submission publishing play a major role there and next topic i would like to say our data model so a rim has three data model one is supporting object another is registration object another is rim core object so supporting object nothing but it already described and already defined by health authority and let's say a user will not using that supporting object much more so here there are some of the supporting object there one called a uh, control vocabulary countries so these are the supporting object and registration object also there so a registration object contain event activity uh, otherwise there are a RIM core object are there application submission regulatory objective these are all under RIM core object so as the slide saying that RIM application share a common data model which allow you to consolidate data for all these application in one fold all object appear in all RIM fold but some will be unused if your fold does not include all application let's say your client or your application is not needed to use this application this object let's say some object would be ignored that based on the scenario so what are the object it use your organization that you can check to generate a whole configuration report and there are a shared object which is application submission product family product product variant regulatory objective and commitment so i have not include all of the key shared object there but uh, i have added few key shared object which is mostly used in dream so application which contain a detail for seeking approval and conducting trial under health authority and jurisdiction and submission 
nested within application so under application we have submission registration regulatory objective all are nested under application and it hold a document submitted to health authority including type date and tracking number product family describe the high level product grouping with alias indication study so products comes under product family describe the product formulation especially doses form these are all product and product variant has child of a product def define a different strength of a drug product a regulatory objective where group of submission is there under one regulatory objective let's uh, accomplish a one goal that's called as a regulatory objective and group of submission supporting that same objective or regulatory activity and commitment store commitment to health authority including date related submission and link correspondence documents uh, informal communication will be stored under commitment or formal communication so this is about uh, today's session uh, next day i'll in i'll discuss about most uh, most of the submission feature and what are the, the and, and i'll discuss more onto this uh, today uh, we have learned a uh, key shared object and dream uh, data model and also we have learned some a uh, key object so that's all for today's session please watch that uh, recording and subscribe my channel and please uh, you know give your com comment on the, the below section and feel free to ask any question if you have thank you all bye bye